Okay, so uh, in the last lesson we had our um, JSON functionality. Um, so what I want to do in this lesson is to take out all of this code where we are preparing the JSON response and put it in a helper uh, method. Okay, so let's head over to helpers. All right, and let's create a new uh, method. So of course we're going to need um, encoding JSON. So let me put that in. All right, and let's create a new method. So since I don't want to type um, a lot, let me just copy this and paste this. I'm going to get rid of all of this. Okay, now the name of this method will be write JSON. Okay, which seems like a, a very good name. Um, in other words, we will call this method from the handlers and we will pass to this method what is needed in to create or to construct the response. Okay, now guys, remember, all a server do, does is accept the request and provide a response. In our, in our case, our APIs, the responses will be using JSON. Okay, so we have to prepare our JSON responses. Okay, so uh, we will return an error if we have a problem. Okay, so all we will return is an error. Okay, now. What are the inputs? What are the parameters? What is it that this method needs? Well, of course, the first thing it will need is the response writer, right? It needs that because that's what it needs to write the response. So HTTP that response writer. It also needs the status code. So for example, is it 200 for OK? All right. So we need to provide the status, which is of course an int. Okay. Now, once uh, we have the status, we need to actually get the data that we want to transform into a JSON object. And so we're gonna have a variable called data. And since we don't know what kind or what type of data it is, in Go, the way we specify that, is by using the empty interface. So we're gonna have interface, open, close, curly brace. That simply means that data is of any valid Go type, okay? And the final thing that we, or the handlers will provide is, or are any headers that needs to be written to our response, okay? So that's of type header, okay? So HTTP dot headers. So basically it's a map, okay? So if your handler um, has a bunch of um, headers that it needs you or needs our write JSON method to include in the response, this is where it's going, okay? So let's go ahead and let's write the code. So, um, I'm gonna take this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So we definitely need to convert the data, okay, that is sent to us uh, into our byte slice, okay? Um, of course, if there are any errors, we need to uh, check that. So let me grab this. Okay. Okay, but uh, if there are any errors, um, then we don't want to send that HTTP response. We actually need to send, or we need to return. Okay. So all I'm gonna do is to return the error. 
Okay, that's it. Okay, very straightforward. Now, if the Marshall function works properly, then let's just go ahead and add the new line character to our byte slice. Because we know if we don't, it will not print properly on the command line, as we saw previously. Great. Now, the next thing I want to do, I want to add any of the headers. So I want to uh, add the headers that have been provided to us using this headers variable. Okay, since it's a map, I will just iterate over the map. So for key value, okay, I'm, I'm gonna use the range, right, so range headers. Okay, all I'm going to do now is to say w.headers, w.header, okay, and then I will simply provide the key, okay, and then equal sign, assignment sign, sorry, and value, okay, so easy as that. So if there are any headers, by the way, if there are no headers, then um, Go will not crash. The program will still work. So um, if there are no headers, if it's nil, it's no problem. It still works, all right? So we don't have to worry about any crashes, whereby um, if there is no value in the headers map, Go will quit or Go will panic. No, we are short of that. It won't. Okay, so assuming uh, we've done all of this, so either there are headers or there are none. Um, and so we will move on, all right? And what we will do, of course, is to add the content type. Okay, so this is the header that we need, so I don't need this anymore. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Okay, and so I will just take these two. So notice the code in our handlers is getting smaller, getting less. Okay, so I will simply specify that it's a JSON response. Okay. Now, after I have specified that it's a JSON response, notice I'm setting this header. Okay, so this header is already there. I'm just setting it. Okay. Okay. Great. So after I have done that, I will now proceed to write the header, okay? And I'm gonna write status, okay? So write header sends an HTTP response header with the provided status code, all right? Good. So after we have sent the header, uh, sorry, the status, maybe 200, Okay, then the next thing we will do now is to simply write the uh, data that goes into our response. Okay, great. So this is the actual body. And so we will write it. And after we write the body, then we will return nil because everything worked out. Okay, everything worked out. Okay. So this is our body. Uh, sorry, this is our method, right, JSON. So all the handler has to do is to provide the status code, the data to be written in our JSON response, any headers that should be included. All right, and then once we have all of that information, we will prepare the response, we will write the response, and if everything goes okay, we will return nil to the handler. And so, what does the handler do? Well, all the handler has to do is to call the JSON, the make, the write JSON uh, method. We know it returns an error. Okay, and so I'll just say app dot write 
Okay. So I'll provide the response writer W. I'll provide HTTP dot status. Okay. Okay. That's 200. I will then provide the data which we have at the top data. And then any headers, let's just say none. Okay, no headers. Okay. And of course, uh, we need to check for the error. So if error is not nil, we will simply uh, log the error and then we will print this uh, error message. Okay. And it should work. Am I missing anything? Let's see. Um, okay. I got that. I've got that. Okay. Let's save that. Let's close my helpers and let's open a terminal. Okay, so the server is up. Let's um, open a new terminal and let's uh, try again to see if we still get our JSON response from our endpoint. Okay, great. So notice uh, we get the header, the status 200, right? So status okay. Um, and then of course the content type is written and any other headers um, would be written, okay, if they were present, but we had nil. And after that is done, then we print or we uh, show the JSON, the response body. All right, so in totality, that is our um, our JSON response. Okay, so looks okay. Um, let me go ahead and make a commit. Okay, so let me add, and then let me commit. So. Um, created a write JSON helper method that the handlers will call to write the responses. Okay, and let me go ahead and push this, so I'll get push uh, main. Okay, so everything looks okay. Let's verify um, that we have new code in our helper.go file. All right, we do. And so that's it for this lesson. Um, I'll see you in the next one.